that it's not a fair comparison. I think, Artha, we should start with the fact that in our country, if you work hard and you play by the rules, you should be able to make a living wage, live with decency, and raise a family. And that is not the case for even the 46 percent of people who are making the minimum wage federally or nationally have college degrees. They are working hard, and Congress has let them down. For over a decade, Congress refused to raise the minimum wage. Seattle shouldn't have to do this. Congress should act on this. We have a situation where the minimum wage hasn't increased at the time where corporate CEOs' increases in salaries have gone up 875 percent, and that is creating income inequality in this country that is extremely destructive to the American dream, which is something everyone should have an opportunity to achieve. Julie, let me stay with you for a second, because you know when you say the two words, income inequality, a lot of people hear that you mean that you want to take for the pe from the people who are successful and give the, to the people who are less successful. Is that what you're saying or no? I'm saying that success in America has come from the infrastructure, the contributions that we all make, that we all contribute to our society. And so, yes, if you are successful, there are contributions that you've gotten from everyone. And to continue the success of our country, we need to make sure that that ladder of opportunity still exists. And unfortunately, because we have not increased the minimum wage and because cities like Seattle have to take it into their own hands and places, it, it's great that Costco and Trader Joe's understand that when you pay your workers more, they work harder and those revenues actually come back uh, multiple times to your community because people making the minimum wage, they spend their dollars, they go into the stores, they spend those dollars, hard earned dollars in that community and that helps the local economy. But Seattle shouldn't have to do this if our members of Congress would get off of their behinds and act on raising the minimum wage.